It's Bible study time and today we'll be looking at Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 to 31 and I'll be using the SOAP method which is scripture, observation, application and prayer. So my title for this particular verse chapter is God is the creator's creator. Now, um, reading this particular chapter, I realized that when God created the heavens and the earth, it was the beginning. That was the first um, chapter I would see in the Bible, which is Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, which says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and, the, and darkness was on the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Hallelujah. So, with my observation regarding this, I realized that God is the original worker. God called his people to look over the earth and as his managers. And we can read more here on Genesis 1 verse 27 to 28. And it says on the observation again that God does not walk alone. Remember, I mean, if we read the old chapter, you realize that God did not walk alone. God's initial work was very good. And God gained honor through his own work. In regards application, we as humans, we can imitate God's work and identify with the jobs he undertakes. We can also reshape and work what God has already created, which means this is going to please him and this matters to him a lot. And in pleasing God in our work, it is a very critical way to worship him. We can also read more on that Titus 2 verse 9 to 11. And my prayer today will be that, Father Lord, please give me strength, power, honor, and grace to do your work. And I pray that your spirit I pray for your spirit to be a good manager on earth and to be able to look after what you have created. Father, give me an excellent spirit. Lord, I pray that you help me raise those who will walk with me because I cannot do it alone. And Lord, I pray that you help me to identify jobs I can take. And I pray that as you go through this verse and go through this chapter, which is Genesis 1 verse 1 to 31, I pray that the Holy Spirit would walk with you. Thank you for listening and see you next time.